So we start to work with the references. We place our references all around our scene to be sure that everything is done fine. We be sure that the scale of our object is correct. So we create like a reference box for our size. We take the size from the blueprints. So you create like those lines. I created like those profile lines based on the references. And then I create also the frontal line uh, based again on the reference. So you can create like the this profile line. And after that, you use um, a tool that is called the B-Rail and is here. And you can use the B-Rail 3 tools. Uh, I usually use that directly to go into polygons. The result of this operation is a polygon surface. So again, to do this, you build the tree rail. As you can see, it asks you to select any number of profile curves. So again, one, two, three. Enter first profile, second profile, and you should have like your surface. Once you're done with this, what you can do is like go inside your tessellation option and inside your tessellation option, you can choose whatever kind of option you want. So in my case, I can go a number of subdivisions that I prefer to do for the surface. So I can respect exactly what I want to do. If I wanted more, I can do more. Don't forget that you can always add things later. The other tool is the revolt tool. And select your thing to be sure that your pivot is centered in the center of the scene or centered based on the revolve uh, center you should use and then you go and choose the remove tool that should be here and then again this is like uh, created based on polygons uh, so i can divide it by a number of subdivisions that i want on the horizontal and vertical isoform so for instance i want like i don't know 16 subdivisions of 17 number of rhizoform and I can divide it maybe by 8 and I have something like this and as you can see with a couple of curves I created like the very basic shape what I can do later on is like create like I don't know the symmetry for this one the mirror sorry for this one so it can be the plus and be sure that don't go too high with this or once you create like your, your mirror then you can create your thickness for instance I can go okay let's create a bit of thickness and then I can go here and I can create another extrusion and then I can go here and create I don't know and then I can do this and that and it can be cool thing about that is that again you have something that is already in the shape almost of the final things that you need to do but also you can still go into the original curves, let's say these profile curves, and you can continue to change the shape. So if I want to modify the shape, I can go and this is still like lives in history with my object. So I can still modify my shape until I have like, I'm satisfied with what I'm doing. So once you finish your model, you simply apply two basic shaders I've done one plastic and one pillow with a little bit more like of noise and everything to make it like slightly more interesting. And then you blend it out and you have your final image. And then you have your like tulip chair, where it's model, shade it, render, with all the stuff. Uh, this is like in using my turntable scene, lights version of the turntable scene. So you have everything set it up for you. We can like um, see it like in multiple. Um, angles so I can render it out with a uh, different kind of setup I can render it out with this light setup or I can render it out with another light setup as you can see here or I can render it out with another light setup then you have like everything set it up to be a full turntable scene so you have like your light that is rotating around your object or you have your object that is rotating with the lights that it's in the in the static position Let's go back to the the more similar i use like an, an, an hdri studio light setup that is similar to the to the image that i use as a reference so I hope you find this interesting and useful and I'll see you next time. Ciao.